What's going on guys? Thanks for stopping by. I'm going to take a beautiful tag Hoyer that I picked up a while back and review it, take a second look at it, and then uh, give it away. Alright guys, so thanks for stopping by Wristwatch Addiction. My name is Paul. I appreciate you coming by on this beautiful afternoon now. It's been raining all morning. Finally cleared up. A couple of real quick plugs. I did a uh, interview with John Keel over at uh, Watch With Us. I'm going to put a link in the description. There's also a link in the uh, community tab of this channel you can check out. Uh, go support his channel. Great guy. A lot of fun to do that interview even though it sounds like I'm uh, <laughs> doing mine from space. I don't know what was wrong with the uh, audio on my end, but it uh, is what it is. So you're, you're chiming in from Nashville, Tennessee, correct? Nashville, yes, sir. Right on. I, yeah. I'm rocking the Preds hat, which I would say I, I wore. I would say I wore it for you, but I happen to wear a Preds hat every day. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say that's completely fine. You know, they're not bad, right? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the weirdest thing having a uh, hockey team in the middle of Tennessee. Like yesterday, it was 60. Today, it's like 85. So hockey, you wouldn't expect, but they've done really well, and we love them. They're awesome. Also. Uh, the Hodinkee uh, videos that they've been releasing, the uh, My Watch stories. Uh, I did one. Uh, I thought, well, I'll give that a try. It just got released, so I'm now on their site as well. I'll put a link below to that as well. Also in the community tab already. So um, go over, check that out. It's a little quick little uh, video on my uh, 40s Omega I found at a pawn shop, so. Yay! Super cool. But today, Tag Heuer, Formula One, uh, Indy 500 edition from the mid 2000s. Okay, so you basically know what it is. Uh, specifically, this is the CAC-111A, the Formula One Indy 500 editions are released every year in limited numbers. They're limited editions, they are not numbered editions, so no real um, data on how many are produced each year, but they began producing this design back in 2000. This design ran all the way through 2010. I believe this one is an 08 model based on the uh, model number um, and just love it. I am giving this one away. I'm not giving it away as a channel giveaway. I'm sorry to disappoint you guys. This one is going to my son for his college graduation. Uh, he's worked very hard and he deserves a beautiful watch. Uh, this one I think will work very well as it's a quartz piece. There's no requirement to wind it. There's no requirement to maintain that movement other than have a battery. Um, this movement being a Swiss quartz chronograph, the caliber ETA G10.711. This is a four jewel Swiss quartz chronograph. And uh, as you can see, uh, this is a fairly large watch. This is a 42 millimeter cased watch, 45 millimeters including the crown, uh, 20 millimeter lug width with a 12 millimeter thick case, uh, 44.5 millimeter lug to lug with the hidden lugs, which I actually love. I, I like this actually better than the more modern newest versions of the Formula One that have the uh, have the new lugs. I like this uh, sort of stealthy lug design, especially when these are on NATOs or uh, rubber straps. It just looks fantastic. Um, this uh, Indy Edition is a 20 ATM water resistance or a 200 meter 
stainless steel case back and bracelet with a fixed plastic resin bezel crown and pushers um, and then of course the uh, painted indices and numbers on the uh, uh, bezel itself so no loom on that bezel but lots of loom on this beautiful dial you get a uh, sapphire crystal um, this piece measures the elapsed time in one-tenth seconds in seconds and in minutes so uh, pretty accurate time piece uh, all things considered this is 130 gram weight on the bracelet so it's actually pretty light it's an extremely comfortable bracelet as we uh, rebound that uh, second hand that center chronograph hand we're going to wind this out this is a screw down crown because of that 200 meter water resistance first position and second position are very accurate very um you know there's there's a noticeable uh position there it's not hard to find as we set that date you can see the date sets squarely in that uh uh date square that date window and then as we set the time here uh, in the uh, second position, you can see it's a quick time setting um, as well. Once we get that set, uh, let's see, let's roll through here. Once we get that time set, we're going to screw down the uh, crown once again, making sure that you um, get those threads locked into place you want to make sure that the threads are in contact before you start winding it you don't want to strip these delicate threads especially with the plastic screw down crown uh, the bracelet itself stainless steel uh, beautiful not excessive as far as detail uh, you have your divers extension that gives you an extra uh, inch or so of uh, room for over a dive um, suit or a jacket you have your uh, case back screw down case back with the um, logo the tag warrior logo on the back there uh, and then back to the front uh, you have uh, the Indy 500 uh, logo there and also on the dial you have your Indy 500 logo uh, you can see the uh, vinyl the plastic um, uh, pushers and crown are in perfect condition these tend to get beat up because they're plastic this one uh, the resin is held up very well um, you have uh, the uh, uh, pins to uh, uh, adjust the uh, bracelet instead of screws because this is a 2000s uh, model hadn't really moved to screws yet and on the wrist you can see that that 44.5 lug to lug fits very nicely on my six and three quarters wrist my son has a, about a six and a half inch wrist should be perfect this 45 millimeter case sits pretty low considering how much is going on on that dial at 12 millimeters thick uh, I'm not sure how thick the sapphire crystal is I don't believe it has anti any anti-reflective coating on it it doesn't seem to at least in the Sun and I can't find anywhere saying you know that they added anti-reflective uh, coating under the uh, um, crystal or on the outside so I'm gonna assume it does not uh, it's a completely flat crystal and in the dark you can see the loom uh, doesn't uh, go into the bezel as I stated earlier that's a painted bezel uh, only on the hands and the indices the hands are much brighter than the indices even when this thing is fully charged and this is not fully charged at the moment guys this is only after maybe a couple of seconds of charge but it definitely gives you an idea of how sort of dim the uh, indices are in comparison to the uh, hands uh, and then outside you can see that uh, the the color sort of change in that dial you have a center disc within the dial within those three sub dials uh, that's a little bit different of a finish 
than the, uh, uh, the outer side of the uh, dial. So both black, but the finish is different, giving you a little bit of texture within that uh, reverse panda dial. And the reverse panda with the red hands, just beautiful. The red hands make it super easy and very legible. Um, the reverse panda on the sub dials, again, make it super easy and very legible except for the fact that it does have a little bit of uh, high intense reflectivity, which is uh, maybe a little, a little unfortunate. But again, this is an early to mid 2000s watch. Um, I'll forgive them for that. And uh, I'm not a huge Indy 500 fan, but I do use this one when I drive, uh, especially when I drive my little hot hatch here. We do uh, rallies once a month. I use this hot hatch. You can see it matches perfectly. The black and the silver, the red uh, to the uh, 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 brake calipers there. I think those go fantastic with this little uh, Mazda Speed 3, this 2010 Speed 3. So now that this fantastic little watch is going to my son, I'm going to have to find another one to match my car. So if you have any ideas what will match this thing, let me know. I'm going to get in it now and go for one more drive. Hope you guys stay safe and we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.